Hey, it's Alicia from mobilitymastery.com and today I want to talk about something that I get asked a lot and it's somewhat mysterious or ephemeral. I'm going to give you my best answer and that is, is pain always related to fashion or is there always a fashion component to pain? I filmed a few videos on the nervous system and pain itself that I definitely encourage you to watch and I talked in those videos, we'll link to them below in the description, um, but I talked in those videos about the nocebo effect, the placebo effect, and then nociception. And nociception is of course our perception that there's something wrong and that's when we get a pain signal. So you could call nociceptors our pain receptors. Um, and pain is somewhat mysterious. Uh, it really just happens when some part of you believes you're in danger for any reason whatsoever. So that danger could be physical, it could be psychological, it could be social, it could be internal, it could be external, or it could be a combination of those. And this is why I've really delved into everything to do with the nervous system because that is primarily what determines whether or not we feel safe or in danger. So there's always a component, I believe, with the nervous system when we're talking about pain. Now, whether it relates to fascia or not, could be up for debate. The reason I love using fascia to investigate things like pain or nervous system patterns or a lot of other mind-body issues like anxiety or digestive issues is because fascia is the only element in the human body that touches all other elements. So fascia wraps every nerve ending and then it wraps every fibril of muscle tissue, it wraps your organs, it wraps your bones. Fascia is tendon and ligament, just a denser version of it. And so we have it everywhere and your lymph system, for example, lives inside your superficial fascia. So investigating the fascial system in all its subsystems, right, and how it relates to those other systems that I just mentioned can clue you into what's actually going on with you and help you find the root cause. So, you know, for example, you may have something going on in your lymph system and you're investigating that system through fascia release or your fascial system. And that may actually clue you into an immune response that you're having or maybe a blockage in your lymphatic system. But I would always encourage you to dig a little deeper and assume that it's not just a fascia issue that there may actually be a toxicity issue going on, something in your environment, uh, maybe a heavy, heavy metal toxicity if you have amalgams or any number of things because we're exposed to so many chemicals on a daily basis. But this video isn't just about the lymph system. For example, you might you know, use fascia release to investigate your nervous system and discover that you're running some nervous system patterns in your body, um, otherwise known as maybe neural loops or, you know, just you know, psychological patterns, whatever you want to call that. People are calling them kind of different things. But you may discover that there's a nervous system pattern uh, running in your body around fear and not feeling safe on a consistent basis. And then, of course, I would encourage you to investigate why you don't feel safe. And it could have to do with your present life situation, but it could also be a leftover pattern from childhood. Um, and this may actually be turning on or triggering or flipping the switch in that danger system um, that creates a nociceptive response somewhere in your body and you may be experiencing physical pain but the root cause may actually be more neurological or nervous system related and then of course we have actual physical danger like there's something inside your body that's maybe a little dysfunctional or off or just um, maybe overused or tired or it needs help, right? Um, and that could have to do with the fascial system for sure. So if your fascial system is restricted in any way, head to toe, it could lead to any number of injuries or pain, such as plantar fasciitis or knee pain um, or tendonitis. So we've got the itises in the joints, um, bursitis, and then of course tendon and ligament strains and tears. And all of those, in my opinion, are a result of um, something to do with the fascial system and of course your lifestyle habits, your sports, your activities, and your stress levels. And 
all of these things can interact and create a perfect storm. And at any given moment, we may be experiencing multiples of them, or it could just be in one category. So I encourage you to use fascia release or contacting your fascial system through compression and movement to discover whether you think you have a primarily nervous system issue or maybe a primarily fascia restriction issue or maybe a primarily lymph system issue um, and even if it's a nervous system issue then you could put it into those appropriate buckets right like maybe it's more um, mindset and mental you know self-talk and neural loops but it could also have to do with unresolved unresolved childhood trauma or emotions. So there are all these buckets um, or categories of things we could put things in, but I'm all about putting things in their rightful place. Uh, and to me, the fascial system is just this beautiful, you know, effective, direct route of getting information or data on all those other systems um, at the same time. A lot to think about there, I know, but that's why I love working with fascia. And that's why I'm here talking to you. So I hope this felt useful. If you have a takeaway, I would love to hear it in the comments section below. And if you're new here, then I hope you hit that subscribe button. I've got new videos that go out every Monday and Wednesday. And if you join my uh, email community, I've got some free gifts, some resources for you. And I share stories and tips that don't anywhere else there as well. So you can do that below in the description and I'll see you next time.